exactly sure how long we'll be going because I do have to leave. You know, I gotta I gotta go to work at five. So you know how it is. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get everything going here. Let me just get the st start stream stuff. I believe there's a cutscene down here though. I'm not really sure because we just got to the city. It looked like. No. Why is it? There we go. You must be one of the new settlers. Welcome to Gilded Vale. You'll be pleased to know that we've had some recent vacancies here. Okay. Um. Do you welcome everyone this way? Don't let me answer you from buzzing of flies. Of from that course, tree. we'll need to make some inquiries first. The inestimable Lord Radric the Seventh has taken great pains to insulate our town from Widewind's legacy. Have you ever sired a hollowborn child? What are you talking about? An infant about? born without a soul, of course. Lord Radric has made it his first priority to eliminate this scourge from our village. Um, I should warn you, stranger. Here in Gilded Vale, we have a special place oh, for whoever dissidents, just, charlatans, um, and those who would hide a curse in our doesn't, midst. It didn't tell me. It doesn't show me. Was of eternity. There we go. There we go. Yeah. His lordship's wife is with child and due any day now. Without his approval, I shan't be able to find you a permanent settlement. It will have to wait until after the birth. We can continue our interview then, after the bell tolls from Radric's hold to signal my lord's new heir. In the meantime, you can find temporary accommodations at the inn, just southwest of here. There we go. Okay. I've been feeling strange of... Uh... That tree over there. Aaron doesn't look great. The great doesn't look over his shoulder. Ah, yes. Not everyone accept, has accepted the measures necessary to keep the village safe. Ever since Lord Radric banished the mothers of Hollowborn, some have taken up arms against him. Why he's been such a procure, he's been beset with frauds and opportunists. Okay. Good strength ceremony near the ruins. Uh, you'll want to mind when you mention that. Trespassing on anger and ruins is illegal, not to mention dangerous. Probably saw someone attempted some new ritual appease the god appease the gods. Okay. Uh, he's not talking anymore. I what? But if oh. you're set on keep out. Of I guess. Listen. I accidentally skipped it. Two tolls. Let that be the last. Three. Gods have mercy. Yeah, my mic's it on. It seems your arrival yeah, is ill-timed. Three bells toll only for the death of a Radric. I fear Lord Radric's heir is lost, or else Hollowborn, and so lost all the same. You should tread carefully. Circumstances have changed a great deal. What do you mean? Uh, is it not... Okay. I suspect the Lord's offered us new settlers. I can be sure of nothing right now. I advise you to get some rest. The inn or a stable for all I care. Find me afterwards, I'll know soon enough. Okay. So let's go to the inn, I guess. The Gilded Vale. Hey. Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Strange way to talk about your dead. He looks up at the tree and breathes out. Half the town's up there now, seems like. No right way to talk about it. I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. He gives an extending eyes, takes a long drag from his pipe. My, consul my condolences. He excels and turns to western the village around him. Okay, just ignore me. That's nice. And they're probably going to shoot me if I go in there, so I'm not going to... So they just hung... Everybody. Okay.
Okay. Mm, that's always nice, I guess. No, no, I'm not going to the child. Theal Feline. As you near, you feel a vibr vibrant history contained in the essence of this man's soul. Voices from its past seem to call out to you. Reach for the soul. You see a pennant waving tall and sluggish in the wind. A rising sun embroidered on the banner. The vanguard of a small troop of paladins. The atmosphere is buoyant, buoyant if restrained and their armor has not yet been tarnished by the elements. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with zeal, zest and zeal. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armor but determined in step. Despite the excitement, excitement of his fellows, he does not smile. There's a twist to his mouth, his countenance grim. He throws up a hand, halting his troops. Silence falls among them, revealing a dark thunder, deep and low. He orders them to ready their weapons and spread out. Eyes dart from horizon to horizon, necks twist to see the source of the sound. In the distance, dust and lightning rise from the ground as Stygian clouds race towards them overhead. The soldiers stand, only the st staccato movement of their breath betraying their nerves. Uh, the commander closes his eyes, calling a blessing down upon his troops. Invigorated and invincible, they wait as their enemy draws near as poised to attack. Okay. That was weird. But, okay. That's a villager. That leaves the map. I don't want to leave the map. Oh, they, oh they're all like that. Ooh, okay. So we have to take a little time later to learn more about everybody. Can I see a map? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, so blacksmith... The inn is over there. Can I... Can... Okay. So the inn's this way. Okay, so road south. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. And then I believe the inn should be right there. The inn should be right about... Yeah, here. You see four people. You see four people gathered by the door to the inn. Their raised voices and chopping gestures suggest an argument reaching its climax. The first figure raises hand for calm. His face is partially obscured by a hood, but his height and stature suggest an elf. I meant no offense. Let's put this matter to rest over a round, shall we? My treat. Hoping to soothe our pride with a few Adira coppers, eh? We don't need your coin. What's going on? One of the other men points at the hooded elf. His eyes are red from drink, but his gaze is focused. Mocking us, even while he shelters in our village. Just to show how... Just goes to show you what those these fancy Aiden manners are worth. We won't take that kind of treatment. No, not from foreigners, and especially not from Adrians. Go on. Say it again. I'm itching for an excuse. Fine, you're itching for the kindling touch of your sister, you cocksfeather! I'll cut that barrel-looking tongue out of your head. This is a misunderstanding. I didn't say whatever it is you think I said. We've nigh quarrel. That's where you're wrong. This is necessary. Wouldn't you rather be inside and drinking instead of out here arguing? We won't. We don't want your charity either, foreigner. Hey! Sounds suspicious like you're defending him. Oh. Well, that was a mistake. That was a bad mistake, actually. I'm just gonna... As the last of the attackers falls, Elf turns to you, the tension almost gone from his smooth face. Not quite how I hope to get to know the neighbors. Thank you for your timely assistance with that awkward situation. I'm glad I could Fantasy help. Fantasy is a rare pleasure in these parts. Though your accent suggests that you are no more local than I. He strains his hood, and you note the remains of fraying embroidery on his gloves. His boots are caked with the dirt of many months' travel, but the leatherwork beneath is sturdy and fine. I suppose introductions are in order after that little fiasco. Alof Corvuser, at your service. How'd you manage to get stuck out here? That is something of a long story. I'm a wizard by training, and an adventurer by necessity. I was born in the Seathwood, part of the mainland of the Adir Empire. 
And both of my parents served the nobility, which afforded me an education for which I am grateful. However, there were no open positions in those houses, and so I decided to seek new means in a new land. And how exactly did you come to be here? I was traveling with Carabon, but we got but we are separated near some in ruins. ruins. Well, those can be dangerous places during the best of times, which these are not. And half the locals would arrest you for trespassing, and the rest would kill you outright. I'm curious. What exactly did you find there? Several herded figures operating a strange machine. Alec goggles at you silently, apparently assessing your e earnestness. Finally, he gives you a clipped, awkward you laugh. You managed to find yourself in rather interesting predicaments. Just how did you... Uh, what are you doing, Gildavell? Excellent Vell? question. I came looking for fresh air and cheap land. Instead, the magistrate gave me directions to the inn and a story about the local lord's expectant wife. But I take it that's a familiar tale. Like you said, I'm also Sethered. Ooh, do we get to In have our own case, house? Welcome to Gilded Vale, a true refuge from civilization. I should get I going. Should I, given recent events. It's just as well. I've had enough of the watered wine and lumpy beds at the inn. They say even the owner tired of the place. Just up and left one day. It explains quite a lot about the upkeep. Perhaps I could join you. I could use a change of scenery, and I find it's better to travel in numbers. You know what? Yeah. Excellent. Sure. I shall follow you. We have another companion now. Nice. A dagger. We're just going to take everything. It's totally fine here. Uh, yes, I want to go to the Black Hound. Those what creatures? How many appear in combat? Only paths of damn high change the statistics of the creatures that appear. Oh, that's cool. Mm, villager Pasca. Welcome. Uh, the innkeeper bows her head curtly. Please sit where you like. Would you like a drink or a room? We have two available at the moment. I'm afraid we can't offer much by the way of a good meal today. Found of cold porridge. Uh, I can use some reliable. Do you have no anyone looking for work? I wouldn't say I can speak, from, but we do have certain sorts coming by looking. If you want to hire somebody, I'm. Oh yeah, let me see what I have to work with. Oh cool, level one adventurer. I've got just enough to hire somebody, but I'm I'm gonna see how much the room is first. Uh, I'd like a room. Oh. Last with two rests. Or I can just do the common room. That's totally fine. And then I'll get in I'll get an adventure to come with us next, uh, you know, because I have enough to hire one, so why not? Our sleep is rest restless and fevered, assaulted by hisses and whispers, blanketed with a suffocating anxiety. You open your eyes to awaken and find yourself in front of the gilded Vell's gallows tree. Creaking of his ropes growing louder in your mind until the sound is deafening. Hanging from the tree is an old dwarf woman whose face is shriveled inward like moldering fruit. Ugh. That's not a very good image, is it? Her head hangs limply to one side as you look at her. She looms larger and larger in your mind until she is mere inches from your face. Suddenly her head snaps up and her eyes open. And they are empty and behind them is a vast nothingness that makes your stomach drop. Her mouth slowly parts and with a gust of rancid air she speaks a word. Watcher. You jolt awake, the foul smell of the dwarf woman's breath still permeating your nostrils. Sweat runs down your face in thick droplets and your skin is soaked from head to toe. You remember the woman. You remember seeing her decaying face when you spoke with the magistrate. He called her an animancer. Though it fills you with a new queasy app uh, apprehension... You feel a strange compulsion to see this woman once more, only to confirm she is truly dead. Cool. Okay. Well met, friend. Uh, let's see what she got for herself first. Oh, it's just okay. Green. I've already got. I'm full on camping supplies, so that's totally fine. Oh, that's cool. Wait. So we have. Yeah, we can accept. 
So we have a wizard and a druid. So honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna make myself a uh, two-handed dual. You know, dual uh, two-handed. I don't know if I'm gonna do dual wielding or two-hander. I'm gonna make myself the. You know, druid can. You know, I have a lot of stuff that can bu buff us and all that. And I want to make my character as a kind of tankish druid. If that kind of makes sense, I want to use my spells. You know, I'll take a few offensive spells, but I mostly want to use my spells to buff my, buff my party. And make them last longer. So we do need like an archer or something. Level one adventure. Um. Let's get the, let's get a male. Sure. Uh, next race. So we want a like archer. So honestly, an elf might be good because they have the dexterity and perception. But if I'm going to do an elf, I might as well do a female elf. Because why not? Okay, so female elf, we have dexterity and... Okay, so what elf? Pell elf. Ooh, okay. Um... What elves trace their beginnings far north present day Aider and have migrated south throughout the forest? Sorry, guys. I've just got to... Uh, there we go. Um, now, covering it all the way south across the equator, they also believe to have migrated across the sea to Iyer Glanfath. Whilst philosophers psychologically identical to one another, what elves from Aider are culturally different from those in Ir those wholly different. Dis uh, against an enemy that is more than four meters away, what elves gain bonus to actually... Oh, so that would... Okay, so this would actually be good. Having a wood elf because we we wanted a ranger, uh, like an archer. No, we don't need a we don't need a monk. Um, is there an actual dude wearing? Oh, ranger. There we go. So we could have either a rogue or. Oh, okay. Um, we're rangers, the warriors of the woodlands, and masters of the hunt. Always partner with soul bonded animals. They can be found in wild places, spaced all over the world. So their lifestyles often tend towards independence and isolation. It's rare for rangers to become an. In Integral part of a large fighting force, though they often employ it as scouts and guides. Starting ability, animal companion. All rangers share a strong bond with an animal companion. This companion fights as the ranger's command, extremely valuable for its ability to run interference. Animal companions don't do much damage, but they have high damage reduction. The link between ranger and companion is powerful. Once one goes down, the other suffers as well. So she starts with one stealth, one survival. Yes, we are going to do that. Ooh, so ranger abilities. Which one do we want? Okay, so. Here she would with a fling prey. Hunter aims for but slowly targets progress. Oh, let's yeah, we'll do wounding shot. Sure. Okay, so we can have. We don't want a bear because I turn into a bear. But let's see. I have naturally defenses. Uh, high. Okay, boar. Fifty percent endurance. Lion. Ooh, lion sounds cool. Lions. Lion companions have built a terrifying with a powerful roar. Range share life bond with the animal that when one is wounded, uh, hold on. When one is wounded, they they can, can sent, feel intense emotional pain. If ranger or animal is knocked and conscious partner suffers bond and grief, affect accuracy and other stats until the downed ally is revived. Rangers ever kill the animal companion immediately dies from grief. Ooh, so that would that'll be that's a good way to do that actually. Um, uh, I'm gonna name it after one of my cats when I was little, Gray. Okay, so we want a lot of perception, so she can, so she can, uh, contrast accuracy and reflex. So we want to get perception up to twenty. Nineteen is the highest it can go, and then might is, um, both damage and healing. So we'll get that up as well. We'll we'll do our high perception, high might. Oh, culture, does that change her bow? It does. Okay, so the short bow or like a long bow. Resolve, Dex, resolve. Intellect. Oh, crossbows. We want her to have an actual bow. I'm kind of. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one because it. They both have. Okay, let's go with the Dex Dreadfire Archipelago. Arch Archipelago, because that does. It looks like it brings her with a longbow. Gives a little bit more Dex. Okay, so let's see. Um. So she's already got a lot of stealth, and she's using a bow. So a hunter works. Okay, so hair. Let's give her pure red hair. Skin. Make it a little lighter. Primary. Um, 
blue secondary. Uh, pink, maybe no. We'll do it like that. That's fine. Okay, I like the middle one. Uh, I don't, I don't mind that hair because that kind of looks like an archer. You know, she's got her hair up so it won't get in front of her face. Uh, let's go with an, you know, redhead. You know, this one looks like a redhead. Boys, um. Hmm. I'll lead the way. Okay, nice. You better run. Okay, so that's a good one. Now she will be. You know, let's let's do a random name here. We'll do Chloe. There we go. So Chloe the Ranger. Okay, Chloe during your part is granted. Gray join the party. Nice. So let's get outside. Wait, hold on. First, let's do her. Ah, crap. Actually, um, I think I have to be outside to actually um, do my inventory management. I really do. Yeah, let's go to Gilded Vale. Because why not? Okay. Chanters can do more than just chant. While their abilities are not focused on... They are common at warriors and will continue to chant and accumulate phrases while performing other actions. Oh, that's cool. So I've got a long range and I have a second kind of quote-unquote tank. So that's good. Okay, so let's look at... No. How do I get... There we go. Inventory. Okay, so I have two axes. She has a bow. She has a bow. Why does she... Wait, she does have a bow. I'm looking at him. So he has his Grimoire. Can I look at it? Examine. Okay. And then you have what? A scepter. Action versus deflection. Okay, and you have a rapier as well. What does that scepter do for you, mate? <laughs> But now I'm just gonna guess that you've got you know what you're doing. Let's look at our characters here. Uh, so you, I just made you, so you're good. Uh, he's almost level three. She's level one. Uh, crafting? No, I don't want to get crafting. I want to see. Okay, so you've got warning shot. Okay, there we go. Uh, customize. So auto attack is aggressive, aggressive, caution. Ranger holds position, prize those enemies are engaged by his or her animal companion. Use wounded shot and mark prey against enemies targeted by the. Okay, that works, yeah. Okay. Uh. It's by the companion. Yeah. By her companions. We want. And then you, you're no AI script. Wait, why don't you have an AI script? Can I. Ooh, I doubt. Okay, so I just can't. I can't even change that one. Gotcha. There we go. So let's get going. Uh, we need to go towards the tree. I think, right? So now there's three of us and a lion. I love. I like how. I love how that lion looks. Well, we'll go down there in a second. Yeah, that looks like a little dungeon we can do to get up some levels, some experience into her. See how she fights. Because she, you know, she should do pretty good with that bow. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. The squall at this end body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked bow that sags at the tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her. And her lifeless head lolls forward rigidly from side to side, from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. You, percept, you perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings, but there's a tepid warmth to it. And you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it. Not with your hands, but with some, like, some aspect of yourself that has no worldly dimensions. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective as you would he exhale. You finally, f you feel yourself spreading out towards the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with the new unfamiliar awareness. Once you've expanded enough to reach her, there's a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electric surge of images and words and sounds. 
Have you come here for me, dear? Or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? I need to uh, understand what's happening to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face, as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. What's a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, no. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I, and it reminds me of better times. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it, sometimes more than they were before, but usually less and seldom the same. For all souls there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past. So these two are not were needed because I'm a watcher. So you gotta explain see how did this even and their this. Honor can't so. recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder! I think I survived a Beowick. Do you know what they what that could be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Cold, I mean. Cold them. Those days are all behind me, no? You said souls break apart over time? Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We try to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. A very small few resist Rimargan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. I want to know something about you. Me? <laughs> I What's an animancer? A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other. Turned their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear.
She laughs, a rasping choke crackle escaping between a rows of buttery yellow teeth, causing body to bob him down with each spasm. <laughs> oh, come now, such a question, as though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low for impurities. Tested her violence. The permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Tell me. Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Sure. Yeah, we probably should start with that. And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi, of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. Of course, dear. Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. She smiles at you reassuring, fanning out a tuft of long whiskers that sprout from one of her cheeks. You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. Okay, so we gotta some kind of find another watcher, a Black Keep. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. Grog's granted the Crucible of the Soul. Are you alright? You seem lost just now. Yes, I'm fine. That's good to know, but I don't suppose you could tell me what this is all about. Um, I'm a watcher. Well, this is interesting. Uh, he gives you a sly grin. I'm, I don't know why half of it's video, half of it's um, voiced and half of it's not. <laughs> and I expect this has something to do with the hooded figures in the ruins, hum. In any case, I appreciate your honesty since we're traveling together. It's probably wise for us to share these things. Let's continue on, yeah. Let's just go. Cause I um. Seventeen and a half. Cause she said he was in. Um, is there like a quick save? No, but it's really quick to save. So she said he was in some kind of old keep. So I'm gonna go in this. Looks like this uh, basement here, and try to get some experience from my guys. And then we're gonna go set off and try to find the old keep. Do the sneak ability rogues have the highest weapon damage output of any class? Whenever rogues hit enemies who have afflictions that qualify with sneak attacks, they automatically do extra damage. Cool, cool. Okay. Rising sun and three dawn stars, the symbol of ethos. Okay. A man lies resting against the wall, lit by the dim illum illumination of the fading scones. Sconces. He has a gaunt, fox-like aspect, and his face pale is, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sle sleeve soaked in blood. Gives you an ancient glass as you near. His features twist. Well in met, pain. friend. He's a godlike too. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Tempo isn't what, it, what, isn't what it used to be, probably for the best. Times being as they are, I'm no looter if that's what you're thinking. None of the faithful either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. What happened to you? It's not voice acted? Okay. I was trying to avoid the spiders. Ran into a scolder. Might have gone a little better for me if the beast hadn't knocked the sword right out of my hand. Good blade, too. Probably still lying there in the dust. But I'm not, so that's alright. I could go get Yeah, we'll go get it. That's kind of you, but there's no need. It wasn't doing me any good. You're welcome to it, though, if you find it. And more, if you could help me f get some more important with the armor, because I could use your help. These ruins around us used to be the, a temple of Eos. The scattered god. A grand temple at that. His worshippers would come here from all over the direwood from even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones. The ones that couldn't get through their heads that their god was dead and gone. Okay. Once the legacy started, Lord Redrick decided he'd been too lenient on the Ethosians. He had his people go in and put them to the sword, left them down there buried under a heap of rock. After that, R Redrick ordered the Temple Seal. Temple Seal, it's been years like that uh, up until recently. Lord Roderick's hopes that if we read dedicate Temple to a living god, that we'll be forgiven. And the legacy will end, see? But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Those priests, maybe they didn't have a lick of sin screen, but they didn't deserve to go like that. Chop down in their god's house, it doesn't sit right with me. If you can go down there and find the remains, maybe we can give them a proper barrel. No small task, there's coin in for you if you need. I play the surprise to get somewhere around here straight of respect. I'll find him. Yeah, let's go find him. It's a good quest. Then by the flame, I owe you a good turn, but listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long, it's crawling with creatures, but if you can get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll, they're still there. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick scones, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and take care down there. I don't want to send someone else after your remains. Okay. You might talk to that uh, eater fellow if Raider hasn't cha hanged him yet. Whereas he's followed dead god, maybe he'll know something about that he usually out by the smithy. You were injured. How are you? How are you up? Yeah, but we're, that's um. So it looks like maybe. Okay, do what's this? I can't get to that. Okay. So shall we go this way first? I guess. I'll take that. Is this yes? Yes, Lon. This is on console. Um, you like the screen, the controls are gonna be really wonky because I, um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Ah, oh, crap, wrong person. I want to. Oh, they confused my guy. That's weird. Uh, I have it on. I have it on normal. I did, you know, I just wanted to play the game. I'm not a um like hard time person. And this is the first time I'm playing Pillars of Eternity, so I just wanted to um have some fun with it. Does that do anything for you? Yeah, it did, kind of. Spirit Razor, I wonder if there's alchemy and stuff. The parchment is worn and tattered, and the ink upon it is faded. In this time of hardship, must must have been much, must have just much faith in ourselves. Basically, do not want to learn the game; just run through the plot. Well, the no, no, I want to learn the game. The um, that's why I put on normal. Story mode is the story mode is the one where you just run run through the game. I, I'm I'm listening to all the plot. I want to learn it all. It's just I'm playing on normal because I want to actually, you know. I don't want to have to... I'm not very good at these games, so I don't want to die every two seconds, you know? Um, you... I've I've also played a... Uh, I think it was called Original uh, Divinity. The second one. Oh, hi, spiders. Yeah, I don't have many skills to use yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm 
thinking we can take these guys without having to use. Yeah, I'm I'm waiting till I get a two-handed weapon for my guy. Cause, uh... Wow, this dude, you're a little stronger. Ivory beast. Uh, wounding shot. Immune to web. Okay. Keep fighting. Yeah, but Len, I want to learn the game. Um, that's why I'm. That's why I'm going down here. I'm not just going straight to that that key place we're supposed to go to. Most inconvenient. With silver tide. What? What is that silver tide? I actually want to see what that does. I meant to do that. Oh, it literally just summons two skeletons. Okay. Held is 202. And then they... Oh, I didn't see if they had weapons or not. They kind of disappeared too fast. A letter home. Uh, can we read that? Uh, I guess we can go in our inventory and read it. Mm. Mm. Actions examined. Mother, I've asked Brother Edric to carry this letter to you, for he travels new Hamer, ha Homer, Hemo, Hemar. Come morning, with him goes what coin I have, and I hope it will ease the surprise of an unexpected homecoming. For I mean to follow it in a few days' time. Our village is much changed, and though I do not wish for you to worry, I do not feel it is safe to remain. I know Re Rectric Obrika will not approve. Okay. Maybe we'll find more of that letter. I am injured. Uh, do I have, like, anything to heal myself? I do have a level up. That might heal me. See, I was going for mechanics and survival for my character. Because I've got Chloe going for stealth. And I'm guessing the mage, I forget, a Aloth, it will be going for lore. Let's put, um... That'll work. Okay. Ooh, class. I've got class unlocked. Skills. Okay, I guess I didn't have any class unlocks. Wait, so I'm healing. So you heal naturally out of combat. That's cool. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, health brand with scorch marks. So we came in through there. Are there any... Can I activate any of these things on the walls here? Because it won't let me turn the screen, so... Yeah, Chaos, I, um, I played Divinity Original Sin. Uh, I actually never beat that, so I'm, I might be playing that again whenever I get somebody who can help me with that puzzle I was stuck on. But I might be playing that again, eventually. Um, I, yeah, I love our, I love games like this, tactical-based games. Whenever I get my computer... Act, my actual uh, an actual gaming computer setup. I'll be playing a lot. Okay, let's go kick his butt. This fight is mine. Oh ho! Somebody just did thirty right there. Okay. Initiates note. Okay, we'll, we'll read most of these after we get. Oh, I'm I'm full. Okay. Can I break this open? Is there a way to like? I don't think there's a way for me to actually break that open. Okay. It didn't let me. Sw it didn't have an action popped on it for me to swing or anything. Okay, so we've gone that way. We've all we've gone this way. So this is the only other way we can go now. I wonder how big this dun little dungeon is. Is it like a? Ooh. Okay, so I want to attack him. Um. So you go and attack him, while you. Go over there and act as a deterrent, and then we want you to spirit spirit shift, and then that should be enough, I think. Um. Ooh, let's see if this actually works. Requires at least 15 seconds in combat. I don't think we've had 15 seconds yet. Time to watch our packs. You Most won't hold me for long. Okay, now can we? Yeah, it won't let me use it yet. Weird. 
crook. Did it. Hey, Come on. Did it. Can't move. Come on, get him for it. Uh. Okay, I think my character just died. I shall deal with this one. Most inconvenient. Oh, he doesn't actually. I guess my dude doesn't actually die. Come here. Come here. Uh, no, I want. I would like to do a multiplier, and then rest. I've never rested yet, so this will be interesting. I've rested at the end, but I haven't rested with like a camp. That's it? Okay, so what did that let me look at your stats. Where can I see the active effects? Okay, that's not what I want. So there's a stronghold, I just can't access it. Okay, so we can get a stronghold somewhere. My character. Maimed. What is maimed? Uh, does it not let me uh Hatchet, um, yeah, so that meme got, okay, I guess, that was, okay, so we need to do his level up, okay, so, yeah, see, lore, so we'll, we'll put a lot of your points into lore, ooh, he gets a spell, quits your browning ball, fire, and inflicts burn damage upon anyone in its path, ooh, that might be a little bit of a friendly fire, it says anyone, it doesn't specify. Necrotic Lance, Mirrored Image. Infused with Vital Essence. Infused cats with Vitality, giving them temporary increase to health. Okay, that's cool. Binding Web. Pins a resident vicious web through the area, of leaving unfortunate victims stuck inside. That might be interesting. But we want... That's cool. Okay, so uh, these might be the only few. You know, we want to. We want him to have more attack, more damage right now. Creates a lance of pure necrotic energy, causing crow damage instantly and over time. And thirty-three over, thirty-three damage over six point five seconds. Okay, ray of fire it is ten to seventeen damage. Wait. Oh, this has a cast time. They all no, they all do. Never mind. So this is a AOE. We don't want him to have AOE yet. When you get your gaming computer set up, Steam has Neverwinter Nights, all the Baldur's Gate games, Icewind Dale, Full Tiles, while, while the third Baldur's Gate new release. Yes, I actually have. Um, I have a few on Steam. Like I, I have Steam, and uh, I'm looking to play a lot of games because there's a lot of games I have on Steam that I would love to play on stream. I'm saving up for one right now, but. We'll see how long it takes me to actually get the money. The one I'm looking at is uh, 700, so we'll see how, we'll see how you know how quickly I can get up 700 dollars. <laughs> I'm I'm honestly this necrotic lance seems like the best right now. It really does. Yeah, I confirm. Wait, I can have two. Oh, okay. Well, let's do um, let's do an AOE and necrotic lance. That'll work. And then uh, let's look at your AI. You're using all those, right? Crap, what I just do? We use Arcana Soul as soon as Comet Ref. They are. They use. Yeah, damage. They use direct damage or foe only AoE spells like Ministers, Mind Missile, Jolting, Ghost Blades. So they use all their weapon. They use all their damage stuff. I hope. Okay, so you, your AI, we want, oh, yeah, let's have you just emphasize spirit shifting as soon as Drew is able to engage in enemy melee. First, the Druid will use damage and crowd control spells, emphasizing lower level options and only ones that are full only. Disney Druid may cast healing spells and party, yes, see, this is what I wanted, okay, so I want him to automatically be casting spells, because that mm, lets me use, okay, so yeah, you're cautious. 
position prior to the enemy that are engaged by his or her. Yes. We want her shooting. Uh, you know what? Let's have you shoot anybody. Just because we do want you to be good as well. Okay, so... Now let's loot these guys. What, some web? Oh, some, oh we might be able to make a poison something out of that. Ah, crap. Uh, okay. Let's see if he spirit shifts. He didn't spirit shift. I guess these guys... I guess they didn't really need it yet. Do I have any like weapons? Do I have do I have a dagger and some clubs? Ten to fifteen crushing. What are your axes? I'm trying to get him a two-handed weapon here. Ten to fifteen same exact slash damage. Okay. Oh, it looks like this might be a trapdoor or something. The nearby crystals light the cracked mosaic floor in shades of orange, and at certain angles the metallic symbol beneath your feet gleams gold. As you look on, the air shimmers as if with summer heat. The very dust and air seem to pull together until a thin glowing mist appears before you. In its rippling gleam, you, som you sometimes think you can see the shape of a man, features rendered in broad strokes of air and smoke. Who are you? Your voice sparks movement. The spirit surges, surges with a sudden blazing light, and in the exact in, and in the next moment, you are somewhere else. Your mind is sailed with a sudden wave of fear and noise. You are in the chapter hall. Priests and, uh, and faithful have gathered in a great crowd, spilling into the hall. Bodies press against you, surging forward to listen. Their own grief is mirrored in the faces around you. Some of the initiates are weeping. Someone has snuffed the candles, and the room is dark, save for the podium lit from behind. Two people stand before it, lit and silly out. Silly out. Yeah, silly out. A man is shouting, voices so ragged with fear you cannot understand what he says, but the re rhetoric stands calm, unmoved. Her strength will see you all through dark these dark times. You feel that hope like a spark behind your ribs. Somewhere behind you, someone begins to sing. The spirit tears itself from you with sudden, dizzying force, and you find yourself before the ruined altar swaying. The spirit fades as suddenly as it appeared. Okay, I guess I pressed the wrong button. A portion of its hands. Well, that was weird. Did I press the wrong button? Maybe. I might have pressed. I might have pressed the wrong button. I don't know. They'll never know I'm here. Crap. Um. Why are you not face shifting? First of all. Yeah, I'm bigger than you now, aren't I? Come here. Scolder ear. So those things are just like scolder people. I got. Did I just get a spell? I got some kind of spell, didn't I? Scroll of Jolting Touch requires two lore. Let's give that for your quick items, I guess. I don't know if you'll actually use it, but I can. I can have you use it. Crap. Navaru beyond. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage he just did. And it's doing a uh, it's doing overtime damage too. Yeah, see, he's able to take a lot of damage. It's just I need to get him the um. Why is why are you not following my screen here? Why are you not following my character? Yeah, see, why is this not following this? Uh, silver, nice. I'll take that. I shall be discreet. Yeah, it's not following my thing anymore. It's so weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, we didn't even get the end of the next of that combat. She does a lot of that longbow of hers is amazing. I, I'll say that right now. Berman has scoured these plates through mold still grows in green black clumps across the table. 
So I, I want to like break these boards, but I don't think it'll let me. Will it let me go across here? Nope. I, there is something back there. No, I think that's what we started out at. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, maybe. I shall deal with this one. Crap. <laughs> Crap. Okay, so inventory. Let's give our mage a little bit of a spell defense bonus. Plus 10 defense against spells. He already has a neck thing. Yeah, he's got a... Oh, no, he doesn't. He has a cape, maybe? Yeah, he's got a cape, it looks like. Okay. So I guess we'll give it to me. She has armor, right? Yeah, she does. She doesn't have anything else, but she's got armor. Let me drop these, because these are crap. Wait, or move the stash. I don't exactly know where the stash is here. But we will move, move some of this stuff out. I don't know what that is either. Uh, who's coming at me right now? Of course, there'd be four of them. Oh, crap. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's not good. I feel off. Yeah, we're about to. I think this is a party wipe. Crap. Um... No. Yeah, it's not feeling wipe. my best here. <laughs> yeah, we just wipe. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, um. We're gonna play around with Chloe and the sneaking of sneaking mechanic. Oh. See, if I had a mouse, this would be a lot easier because I could just click where I want him to go and stuff like that. Mm, what was that? There we go. Get myself a drink. Okay. Oh, it's before we ever came in. Son of a gun. Okay. How do you do? Already, um... Okay, so... Okay, let's do this differently this time. Let's have you... Quick and quiet. Let's try this sneaking mechanic. I want y'all to come with me, just not as far. Okay, can I shoot? Because I think there's a single spider in here. Can I shoot that now? Uh, how do I shoot? Do I have to use an ability, maybe? This fight is mine! Okay, well, that lets me start it out better. But that's not what I wanted here. It's really not, because they would still have to get to me. I want... Nothing will slip past me. How do I attack him? Like, how do I... No, 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 no. How do I attack? Like, is there a quick attack button? Uh, let me look at the... Uh, journal. I want the tutorials. Combat. No, I want engagement. Uh... It goes straight from D to F. Okay. 
okay. Yeah, it doesn't tell me how. I guess I can't. There is no sneak attack, I guess. I'm not really sure. I I think. Maybe. Yeah, I guess there is no sting attack. I don't know why there wouldn't be one, though. But, okay. I'm level 3 druid. We put it, what, in mechanics, I think? And then... I have no... Wait, why don't I have any class? Okay. Usually work. Ah, oh, that one. Ah, oh, that more than raw. What are you? What are you casting? What are you casting there? Do I have spells? Oh crap! I did not. Oh, look at all this! Holy crap! I didn't know I had spells. So that's how. That didn't help very much. Okay, let's look at my level two spells. Holy! Oh, okay. Forms a powerful sword with a blade of pure fire in the caster's hand that inflicts burn damage. Okay, so let's see. Customize. Put that level 2 firebrand spell right there. So I can just do that. Voila. You should summon that, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where that spell came from, but I like it. We're gonna now that hey that gives him a two-handed sword. Now what is what are these other spells you got? Okay, Blizzard, you got insects. So this is what he used: insect swarm, taste of the hunt, wood skin. Ooh, okay. Now let's see all these level one spells: charm beast. Oh, that's interesting. I'll have to put that on my bar too. Okay, I do, I do want some of these. Uh, crap, I have to hold it. Uh, let's get some of these level 2 spells. Like the wood skin will be good. Because he is... Um, Burst of Summer Flame. And then we will get... Let's get some level 1s. Uh, I guess we'll have Charm Beast. We'll try it out. And for that one, a level two, I guess. Uh, actually, I kind of, I kind of want to see how Firebrand come, pulls out. So let's go ahead and save since. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and save since I did do a little bit of management here. That should save the AI change I made to him as well. Oh yeah, yeah, he used all my dude. He used all my thing. Okay, so we need to just do this and save. Ah, that more than wrong. Okay, so I need him to stop using spells. <laughs> I really do. Um. Since he's me, I will use. I'll have him auto aggressive for auto attack, but I want. I'll use. I'll, I'll. I'll make me use the spells. Yeah, I'll make. Yeah, I'll make it to where I use the spells for him. The rest of these guys, I want on a thing though. Okay, damage. What are you? Cautious. We want you on aggressive.
crap. Yeah, I can't summon any of these. Might be able to charm this dude. Maybe. No, we're not. Okay, well, go ahead and spirit shift, I guess. This fight is. It can't afford another loss like that. I know, shush. Just hurry up and attack. So I'm getting poisoned. You're all attacking the lower, the lower level one. Don't know why, but okay. Croactid. It's a little bit more damage to him. And y'all switched y'all's attacks. Okay. That makes sense. But nobody died this time, surprisingly. Well, besides the lion, but that's that's a companion. Ah, crap. That's a little irritating. I went forward before you could heal. I do know there's nothing up here though, so. Sh sure? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna wait a second to heal up. We won't be going for too much longer, guys. I do have to, uh. I do have to go to work at 5. <laughs> I'm liking it. I really am liking this game. I like the that we can learn different spells. I would... Uh, what kind of spells do you have? Mm. Sunless Grasp. Minor Missiles and the rest of you are locked. Okay. What's in your grimoire? Ew. So you only have a certain amount you can learn because you're a wizard. I remember reading. Yeah, I remember reading about that. That is true. Yeah, I'm gonna heal up. This is not that not let me heal up. I guess I gotta actually rest. Uh, sh sure. We'll do damage reduction. It's only like a few seconds to rest up, and I've got four of them. Uh, that did give me two uses of this now for 39 seconds usually combat ends before that so let me look let me look at your AI here no let me look at your AI so you have no script so you shouldn't be using your spells without me using them I'll see what I can find Oh wow, yeah, that does a lot more damage. Nice. His, his, he attacks a little slower, but he does do a lot more damage. I won't be summoning. I won't be summoning that thing for everyone, like every battle. I didn't even. Oh, okay. I can't wait to get him a two-handed sword so we can actually start learning how to use it. I don't know why it just stopped following my. There we go. Ooh, so that's how you do it. Okay. I wish there was a quick save button, like there is on um, Wasteland Three. But it's really easy. It's actually very fast to save. I'm surprised. I do like that it actually pauses it when the game's battle starts, so we do some stuff. Yeah, look look how little damage my axes are doing. Okay, don't go in there, that's where I died last time. So we'll head up here first. 
So we did just save it, so you know, we're only one battle. Consider oh, it crap. done. Three bells hang from the stone protrusion that runs along this wall. Years of dust and grime coat the metal. It's one large bell at the center flanked by two smaller ones. Strange hush falls upon the room, muting the sounds of the bells and internal drip of damp stone alike. Then its sudden dissonant toll sounds from the bell so long that you compelled to cover your ears. And then at last silent. Okay, so we'll do right, left, middle, and then left. Okay, so we did right, left. So let's do left, right, middle, middle. Okay. We'll, we'll guess it a few times here. No, okay. So we'll leave. We'll, it, we, we'll find it. We'll find a. We'll find the clue to where which one those bells ring first. Okay, so there was another room down here before we get to that sudden death one. Let's have him level up. No, dang it! Press the wrong button, and now you're switched. Okay, um, level up. So we want to give you some lore. It's totally fine. Necrotic Lance was a good one. Um, these are level two spells. Um, Binding Web would be a good one too. Another one over here. Oh hi. I see where you're going with that. Oh hey. Oh crossbow. Okay. Fine sword, sword one handed. 14 to 21 slash damage. Oh, that's an upgrade for uh, my, my character there. Let's move all this to the stash. I don't know what the stash is yet, but let's um let's put all this in there. And then uh you, since you can use it, we'll put that in there, and voila. Now I have a sword. And actually, that deserves... Yeah, guys, you'll see me saving often, because, um... I suck at the game. <laughs> it looks like that, yeah, that is the only way to go now, so we have to try it. But we can set... Uh, we can set things up. I shall be discreet. There's something you don't see every day. Trap detected. Trap disarm, nice. Okay, so we will equip that in a second. Uh... Oh, thank you. Or not? Come on and find us. We're ready for you this time. Yeah, we're ready for you. We're more ready for you this time, aren't we? You should have run. Hell, night, let him take me. Come on. Yeah, we don't have many specials to use yet with our characters. A haze fills the air, coalescing steadily into the blur of dust and mist. It gathers in the outline of what appears to be a dwarf, shimmering echo that fades in and out of sight. But stronger than sight, it is is the sense within you of a powerful energy. It roils and sees with a grief that seems to spill into your own thoughts, tainting them until the sorrow is your own. Like a wa crashing wave, the energy surges towards and into you, 
and suddenly you are elsewhere before you is a brightly lit stone corridor lined with torches and gleaming crystals. You're running, your footsteps echoing off the stone around you. You forget to tie your sandals, and they're slipping from your feet. Fouling your steps, you're late again. The riot's going to begin without you. You you hear the tolling of a bell, and your spirits lift as you recognize the familiar warp tone of the right hand, representing the first of the dawn, dawn stars to appear in the night sky and last to fade in the dawn light. You pray fiercely that this is the first of the chimes and not the last. The spirit fades as does the memory. When your eyes clear, the spirit is gone. Cool. Cool. Okay. Ooh, th that was pure gold. That was gold. Okay. Are you telling me we didn't need to go in here? We have to we have to figure out the bells, don't we? Yeah, okay. Come on, lion. So we're gonna have to figure out This calls for a subtle Consider this calls for a subtle tack. Can I uh well I'm supposed to be able to attack it, aren't I? can't attack it at all with anything I thought that was the point of th this game was being able to actually go ham hmm okay well let's um let's get one of my level one spells because I can use this four times we need an attacking spell here Okay, that's a cone. Okay. Um, examine the bells. Fully intact. They're having thick iron. Okay. Okay, well, how do I figure out? Because I read most of the books. How do I figure out? Huh. Is this a thing you come back to, maybe? I don't know. I want to break it down, but it won't let me hit it with my soul, with my axe. This calls for a subtle touch. Let me hit it with my axe or something. Ah, that more than wrong. Nothing. Let's see where you're going. Consider it done. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. I guess we'll come back when we have lock picking mechanics ten. Cause that probably leaves back there, but can we get back here through this way right here? Maybe. No. Stones of pocket of burrows, claw marks and dung marks of pastures of beasts. Yeah, we can't get past any of this stuff. I guess this really is a really small dungeon. We did get a sword, but we need to get down there to find the. So we might have to wait for a stash, cause I'm I might have accidentally put the book up we needed. But that's totally fine. Cross out several places and then band it all together. Okay. Can I take this? Can I take this box with me? Yeah, we might have to wait. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back. I mean, this this is seems to be a hot spot because there's a smithy and stuff in here, and we did get some gold, so we will try to uh, get. You know, I'll get a uh, two-handed sword if I can, because that two-handed. Ooh, that fire sword did a lot. That was cool. I've gone up there and then I'll be back for you because you have the quest I need to actually complete then we'll go to the blacksmith Okay. 
Um, classes like fighters, barbarians start with a bonus. Hmm. I need. I do need to have a barbarian. In fact, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he knows. He. She. She said he was. Uh, that dude said he was by the tree. So this dude. Ida. Edir or whatever his name is. The smell of pipe smoke at once earthy and sweet winds his way into your nostrils. Your eyes trace the smoke to its origin when you find a broad man with straw colored hair leaning against a mossy rock wall his pipe held to his lips. Seventeen and a half. No, oh, it could be eighteen, depending on how you count the dwarf woman. I'm sorry? The dwarf woman. You were trying to figure out whether to count her as a full person. What are you talking about? People hanging from the tree. Name's Adair. Though to the people around here, it might as well be nineteen. Don't think I'd put you much higher than 22, 23 tops. You look like the sort that likes to get involved. What makes you think I was interested in the dwarf woman? He looks at you a moment, his brow arched, his smirk broad. I was smoking over here, saw you staring at her. Twice I refilled my pipe. You never so much as blinked. Your mouth was so slack, I took you for a radrick at first. I've been out of sorts lately. Okay. I guess he's getting all busy in, in our business, which is not cool. But okay, we got this. The blacksmith was over here, right? Yeah, the blacksmith's right here. So it's right there. I saw it. Blacksmith's house, yeah. Let's go try to find some weapons. Do most per hit damage can revival punching through high damage reductions. Yes, I want one. I would love a magical sword. Because that whenever I summon that magic sword, it did amazing. It did a lot. Okay. Commoner. Guard. Yeah, of course he'd have a guard. Harlan Orn. No, we don't want another one of those visions just yet. So... Now, Mom Man is, a, is a, of an impressive build, towering above the countertop. His skin is dusty blue with the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscle. Small ears frame a square-jawed face coated in smeared suit, soot and arching, arcing black tattoos alike. Uh, I've your broad smile and approach. Welcome. You're the first new face I've seen in quite a while. What do you do here? You came to us. At, you come to us at a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's not what it used to be, but we find weapons aren't to offer yet. All forged right here, the black hammer. Uh, what happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now, and haven't seen a sight of it. Have to expect they were hit by bandits. The road east is crawling with them, or my workers ran off with the wagon themselves. Maybe to make some coin, as if that lot would dare. He's right about the bandits. The dire situations in villages like this and the exodus to the city has created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. Having to be headed that way, maybe you could keep an eye out for a supply wagon or my shipment at least. They'd be cutting through the black meadow, I expect. Yeah, I'll find them. Hey, that's another, um... You have my thanks? You bring those supplies back and I'll have plenty more to offer you. A discount to start? Oh, and if you find more workers, tell them to hurry up so they can take the farming instead. Cool. Good day, stranger. Mm, let's see... Gina's Lance, six hundred seven, six thousand. Se Ooh, okay. A great sword, seventy-five, sixteen to twenty-three. Rope, really? I guess that would come in handy. I'm gonna get the great sword. I know I don't have much money, but we're gonna Is that a magical blade? Fourteen to twenty one, sixteen to twenty three. Two-handed weapon required. Oh, two slots. Okay. Okay. Now we might actually be able to do like some skills or something. 
Oh, how did- okay. I was about to say, how did, how did I get into that fast mode? Heavy armor grants more protection, but extends recovery for its wearers. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll explore the village a little bit more, and then I'll have to go then. Whew. But we got some levels under our belt. We got some more experience. I, um, I learned more about the spells. And eventually, it will, I'll be used to use that firebrand per, um, per use, like per encounter, not just, oh, well, you know, you can only use it twice the whole. So he said east. He said south, right? No, he said east. So we're going to go east. Eastern wood. Yeah, okay, so that's east. So we've, we've discovered the one east. Now let's um let's go and discover south. Can you have enchanted weapons on this game? Anybody who has experience? Um, because I, I would really like I've I've summoned a fire sword. Firebrand, but I wonder if there's an actual Okay, there's Forgan's Morgan's Fork. Okay, now let's go over here. And it kind of looked like this was this was headed towards the coast, maybe. So I think we'll go this way. Day 3, hour 14. Okay. Okay, before we actually leave, let's go ahead and save it. Because we did, last time we saved it was in the temple. Oh, okay. I guess. Um, let's go to Margarine's Fork because it brings us closer to all these other locations, I guess. Shield grants bonuses that stack with bonuses from other item types. Oh, that's cool. So you can get bonuses from your items and weapons, which makes sense. Because I was told this was kind of, this was like D&D-like, which I agree. It kind of is. Knock me straight down. We're doing hardly any damage to him. Holy crap. Of course, he's doing hardly any damage to us as well. Oh, nice. Our number is Wolf hide myself for a little bit. Did the lion die? Oh, hey. Who are you? Uh, hello there. Beg your pardon, but you gave me a good fright. I thought I heard something rustling through the brush. Suppose that was just you. Silly of me. Don't suppose you happen to need some supplies. I thought I'd make my way over to Madmore Bridge, but I'm starting to think I'd be better off heading back to town and getting a few more folks together. Okay. Mm I was, you You said, you asked me if I want supplies and you kind of didn't sell me any. Oh yeah, we're doing really low damage this thing. Yeah, we're doing a low, low damage. Holy crap. There we go. Guess we get a wolf pelt, wolf pelt out of it. Okay, so that doesn't let us go anywhere new. Thank you. Ah, uh, there's, um... There's that. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is wait, wait to heal. And then I'll summon Firebrand. Because I have one more cast of that, I'm pretty sure. And then... No, I don't. I do have this, though. We'll do Vol Thorns right at him. 
Whenever they get close. Ooh, that's a lot more than I thought. Oh, thank more than oh they interrupted me. Ah, we're probably dead. <laughs> we're probably dead. <laughs> Yeah, we're probably dead here. Um, do you have any AOE spells? Oh yeah, you're a um, you're a wizard, so like all your stuff is kind of. So he only has the number of limited uses, anyways. Yeah, we're 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 dead. Can I get her to run, maybe? Can I get you to run? That's not good. Can you get away? No, she can't. That's sad. Okay. So we're just gonna load. That's totally fine. We do have an autosave here. But, uh, okay guys, we're gonna get this loaded up and I'm gonna have to go right after that. I'm sorry guys, I mean, I've had fun. We've been going for about an hour and a half. I do have to get to work, sadly. Um, thank y'all for coming out to watch. If y'all want to keep up with my streams, hit that follow button, and you'll know when I go live. Uh, have a good day, everybody. I will see y'all guys, I'm thinking, tomorrow night, maybe Tuesday night, and bye.